welcome back to vlogmas i have had the weirdest day today it's three o'clock um i woke up at 4 15 this morning i i didn't set an alarm for that i set an alarm for seven because i wanted to sleep in today but i just naturally woke up at four feeling very well rested and i <laughs> tried to do the morning routine with pretzel and she just like wasn't having it she just like relocated from the bed to the couch and then at seven she was ready to do her routine um i normally wake up between 5 30 and 6 30 in case you're curious but she sleeps in until about the 7 to 7 30 but yeah i just woke up like really motivated energized i got a lot of work done this morning and then i just crashed it was very weird <laughs> i think just like i don't know i think because i had like worked so long on my computer and i were i i was on my computer from like 4 45 until about 10 45 so then i just felt like i was in a daze shouldn't have done that and then i got really tired so i kind of just like Ooh laid on the couch for a little while not a little while the rest of the day <laughs> and then I was like okay I really want to finish decorating my Christmas tree today um but the sun's like it's been like stormy and gloomy all day which doesn't help um and I was like you know what I really want to get out of my house before the sun sets I ended up having ice cream and that's the only thing I ate today <sighs> it's it's the weekend after Thanksgiving, so I'm just kind of like, you know, like, does it really matter? Mm, I don't know. But because of that, that's just adding to myself feeling very sluggish and tired and blah, and now very unmotivated. So, um, the other thing too is like, I do really well with routine. And like, I love waking up, going to the gym, getting out of the house. So I decided to get out of the house before the sun completely sets and it's pitch black again because I feel like it's been dark in my house all day today with uh, the rainy storm. So I'm not going to the gym right now. I'm gonna go get a coffee, potentially a car wash and Jimmy John's. Because tomorrow, I'm back on my shit. And Jimmy John's... <sighs> it just sounds really good <laughs> right now. Um, hmm. So I'm going to have one last little carb meal. And then get back on my shit tomorrow. So I can feel good and feel energized and ready. I feel like when I have so much bad food it just like it gets me it gets me and then to get back oh panda express guys i don't know what i want i don't know what i want let's start with starbucks i was so broken nail today this car needs to back off Get some Starbucks. And then, so yesterday I was feeling really motivated and excited, and I was gonna. Oh, hold on. Hi, can I please get a grande hot caramel macchiato? Sounds good. What else for you? And that's it. All right, 583. We'll see you up here. Thank you. I was feeling really motivated yesterday and um, I started filming that decorate with me like a separate video and now I'm kind of just feeling like what's the point so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that I think I need to just review the footage but I kind of just want to just vlog it and have just zone out and not care about like making it look aesthetic. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Cause fuck it. 
I think that's what I'm gonna do. And right now I need to decide, do I want some Jimmy John's or Panda? Hello. Hello. Hi, okay, I have you on speaker. I need your help, okay? Okay. Here comes a photo, I just sent it to you. I don't, of course I'm not 100% a fan of that one. Okay. Um, okay, I just sent you a photo of the light and the cabinet pulls. Okay. Okay. And then, hold on. I'm about to send you a screenshot of the new sink that we just, of this new faucet that we just ordered. The sink itself is black. Okay. Okay. Um, it's like a black drop in sink. It's kind of swagged out. Actually, I sent you a picture of that too, just so you have it. It's got like a little drying rack on it. And then I'll get to my question. Hold on. Here's the sink. Here's the faucet. Oh, shit. Hang on. I should have been prepared, more prepared before I called you. Okay. All right. Here comes the sink and the faucet. Okay. So now the appliances are going to be um, stainless. Um, and so I'm like back and forth about what color hood. Remember that the cabinets are going to be green. The countertops are going to be a creamy tan color. Like, um, uh, it's going to be like a creamy tan concrete. On the, on the countertops and the backsplash. Okay. So it'll be like green with creamy tan with black and gold. Okay. Okay. But then the, but then the appliances are going to be stainless. So do we do a black hood? Or do we do a stainless hood? Not stainless. I didn't think so either. I was going to say either black or gold. Oh, I didn't even think about a gold hood. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me type in a gold hood and see if I can find one. Because I think the stainless should pop for your appliances. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Hold on. I just typed in a gold vent hood. Let's see if they have it. Do you like the black one I just sent? I do. It's cheap, dude. It's one fifty on Cyber Monday, so I'm like sweet tits. I know. So I'm not seeing any gold. Yeah, of the black with the glass. I don't like the glass. It's gonna get so dirty too. Yeah, yeah. And, okay. and it's kind it of kinda, a different look. It gives me like a '90s vibe, and then the edge might be green. Yeah. See, and I really, I, I really think like, I really like that industrial look, like of the of the vent, like that looks, you know, like the. Like how the one is that I just sent you, I like how that looks kind of industrial-ish. And same with like how the light looks and the faucet, they all just yeah. kind of have this. And you said, okay, your cabinets are green. Mm -hmm. And then the countertops are like a, a tan concrete. Yeah. 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 Hang on, I'll find This will look video. good. This will look good. That's what I thought. I thought so too. I was like, okay, hold on. Let me find the video itself where the girl did that DIY and I'll screenshot what hers turned out to look like. Let's see, in her, her hood vent was stainless and black. It was like black, it was like a black bottom here. I'll send you a picture of that too. And yeah. I looked at that one, but it's like $400. The, so I was not gonna do that. The black hood is gonna look tits. That's what I was thinking too. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm not too far out here. Mm -mm. I think the stainless would almost add too much variety because when your stainless is just on your appliances, I feel like it, it just works because it, it's an appliance. But then by adding the hood, it's almost like you're adding another color scheme. So by keeping it with the black, it's going to match the sink and the faucet better. So you have right. that color scheme going. Okay, cool. Okay. All right. Well, then that's what we'll get. Okay. You think that my, cause like hers, she did hers like pretty classy. I feel like I picked a different type of sink that had like the gray instead of like the one sink bowl, um, which we had the option between like the dual sink or like the one sink. Mm -hmm. I like the one sink better, but the dual sink came, uh, it was, I felt like it was a better deal and it came with the drains and it came with like the drying rack and like the sink protector bottoms mm -hmm. and i thought that that was pretty cool for the deal yeah but i'm like afraid that i'm putting too much black up in here am i no you're fine no. the hood and the sink the faucet and the light okay okay cool thank you so much for your help you're welcome so much mm -hmm.
Okay, bye. Bye. So Ruben went fishing yesterday and he's coming back home now. So that kind of changes the food situation. It's the longest Starbucks line, oh my God. Sometimes it's super fast here and sometimes they are freakishly slow. Um, so Ruben texted me that he's super hungry and wants to know what I was thinking for food. And I'm like, yo, what's up? You want to get some Panda Express? I'm in a better mood. Literally getting outside, getting a little bit of interaction with earth. Fuck yes. Way better. And I'm not even like outside outside. I'm in my car. <laughs> I already feel better. Uh, winter is brutal. Staying on top of my routine is just crucial. So it's my little vent sesh. Um, it's my motivation to stick with my routine this month because I can't be letting myself getting all upset and depressed. Hey, bye, Hi. Baby. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna have that for you in a moment. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You too. I'm so excited. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go find myself a place to park for a second and call Ruben and see what he wants for food and I will go get it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. I'm pretty sure he likes double orange chicken, white rice. Hello. Hey. Hey. Um, what do you think about Panda Express? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was actually, I've, so I woke up at 4.15 this morning and then did a lot of work and it's been rainy and gloomy all day, so I've been in the house. And then I started to get all feeling blah, because I've been in the house on my computer. So I left the house to just go get a coffee and some food, and I'm already feeling better. Um, Good. Yeah. <laughs> Winter. Um, right? I'm uh, over it already. I know. <laughs> <laughs> like, just like that one day, and it's like depressed. I know. Uh, so... Um, and it doesn't help. I had ice cream for breakfast. Yeah. So that'll do it. But anyways, I figured. I want some tonight, though. That's fine. And there's some in the freezer. I got the quartz. Nice. Yeah. So I'm just going to have one more meal and then get back at my shit tomorrow to feel better. So I figured Panda sounds like a good greasy mess. Yeah. Okay. Double orange chicken, white rice. Uh, yeah. How long until you're home? Uh, probably three hours. Oh, yuck. Okay. Two hours. You haven't left yet? I'm about to leave right now. Okay. Sounds good. I'm probably going to eat some of it before you get there, but I'll save the second half of mine to eat with you. Sounds good, love. I'll see you soon. Okay. Love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. I think I was also feeling down because I miss my husband. Um, yesterday, by the way, I got, like, it looks like I got, like, a sliver or there's literally, like, a hole in my hand and I don't know what it is. I don't see anything. But it hurts. I must have got myself with something. I just don't remember. <sighs> oh, there's a dog in that car. You are so special. You're so special, dog. I need a nail file. That is a fun fact about me. I cannot stand having a snag on my nails. It drives me insane. 
I need a file on me all the time. <laughs> um, and normally, I don't have an issue with it. However, this nail, um, the note chip kind of peeled up and it peeled some of my nail off with it. So it's a little short, but it's okay because it's my nub thumb and I don't really give a shit about that finger because <laughs> it's just not the cutest finger anyways. So but these nails have gotten so long. I think when I go tomorrow to get my nails done, I'm going to get them trimmed a little bit because oof, they're getting a little hard to like do things with and I have a crack in not the nail but in the no chip part of it and it's just like driving me insane it's been like that for like a week so I cannot wait to get that fixed okay I know by the way it's funny when you record yourself you pick up on these little things that you do that it's like wow that's like super annoying like I'm always like ah, okay it's like shut up you don't have to be a 90 year old woman like breathing and saying okay thank you for choosing Panda Express what can I get for you today hi can I please get um double orange chicken with white rice and teriyaki sauce on the white rice okay and then can I also get double orange chicken with fried rice. Okay. And that's it. All right, two plates? Yes. So I think I'm gonna uh, sign up for this gym that I used to work out at. Um, <laughs> I feel really motivated right now after just coming off of Thanksgiving and this weekend, I'm just like over it, but also, here I am at Panda. Um, but I think I'm going to sign up for this gym that I used to work out at. I'll tell you about it in just a second. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Okay. <laughs> See? Okay. So... I've been thinking about signing up for this gym that I used to work out at. It's where I used to do kickboxing and then they did um, cardio classes very similar to how F45 does cardio classes. I did enjoy F45. I've tried it before. The only thing I don't like is that it's so expensive. F45 is insane. Now if I was only doing F45 I'd be down but I'm not. I lift uh, currently three days a week but my goal is to do five days a week so and then I'm just looking to add on some cardio so it just doesn't really make sense for me to do something like that consistently so I was thinking of signing up at this gym that I used to work out at and they have these like cardio classes very similar to F45 um, but it's way less expensive and I can customize my package so I can only go like four times a month or eight times a month depending on how often I want to go and the one that I went to was kind of far from my house but they just opened up another one that's closer to my house so I'm thinking about starting that uh, this week and I think honestly I do so well when I have a class or someone that I'm meeting like if I for whatever reason I just can't I just don't do as well with my gym routine when I'm just like going by myself I do so much better when I'm meeting somebody and I know that about myself so that's why I hired a trainer at the beginning of the year um, because I was just like every single day I'd be like oh I'm going to the gym I'm going to the gym and then I just would never go so it's been really helpful to have a trainer because it's helped hold me accountable and I've gone every time. So, and also hiring a professional really helps because I, I swear I'm the strongest I've ever been and I can't wait to just bump up my cardio because I'm gonna be shredded. Um, that's my goal is to have some definition happening soon. So yeah, I think I'm gonna sign up for this cardio class and go 
probably twice a week. I think that I can realistically do that. I have been going and doing like my running intervals, just not as often as I would like to go because again, I just don't do as well um, showing up when like no one's there like counting on me. I have a thing, I don't know what it is, but like I just don't cancel. I try my best not to cancel on people. I think that I've gotten canceled on a lot by a lot of different people. So I don't know, it's just a thing with me. I don't like canceling. So if I have a class and I sign up for it, I will be there. I will be there. If I make plans with a friend, I will be there. So um, I don't know, it's just a thing with me. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do that this week. And right now when I get home, before I even put my stuff away, I, I'm gonna put my pumpkins in the trash. Even though you're watching this in December, it's currently November. I'm filming a week early, so it's not that bad. <laughs> but all my neighbors got their Christmas lights up, so I'm embarrassed. Tomorrow, hopefully, the returns will be taken care of. I need to go <laughs> and uh, return all my shit back there. Okay, let's go. Let's go eat. And throw out these fucking pumpkins. Oh, I gotta take this out. Damn it. why but I did not expect those pumpkins to be heavy and soggy makes sense you know I picked it up and it's like oh shit oh well that makes sense <sighs> so I still need to go bring my garbage can to the backyard but all right um so I'm gonna do that and be back inside but whew, I'm glad I took care of it because it's a little embarrassing out there Hi girl, hi girl, I'm not gonna take your sock. Oh my goodness, <laughs> did you? <laughs> oh, you are a magician. Yeah, you got two socks, oh my gosh. That's a dad sock and a mom sock. So, <laughs> so whenever we leave, she'll grab our socks. And today, because we're both gone, she's got her dad's sock and her mom's sock. <laughs> yeah, grumpy girl. I'm out of breath because I put the garbage can back and then ran inside because I am cold. It got really chilly out there. I'm just catching my breath. I'm gonna sit here for a second with my smooth, my little smooth. Well, we uh, always called her smooth dog before we knew her. Long story short, she was my neighbor's dog. And then we ended up um, buying her from them. Um, but before we knew her name, we would call her Small Dog, but just like Smoo. And now her name, like, I mean, her name is Pretzel. We re, re I can't talk. We renamed her Pretzel. Um, but now Small Dog or Smoo Dog has transformed into Smoo, S-M-O-O. So I just call her Smoo. Isn't that right, my Smoo? She's my Smoo. Hey, Smoo. Oh 
my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm in such a better mood now that I left my house. I just cannot sit inside all day. Any chance I can get to do anything outside the house, like I do it because I need external. So now I'm actually really excited to finish this tree. So I'm gonna quickly clean my kitchen first. I just have to do the dishes. Um, <clears throat> And then after I do the dishes, maybe I'll eat a little panda and then decorate the tree and put on a Christmas movie. So it'll be kind of like a little continuation of yesterday, but Ruben's leaving now from his fishing location. Are you give me smooches? You're not that mad at me then. Um, so he'll be home in like three hours ish. Um, by the way, my glasses, I will try to link them if I can find them, but they are from the brand Dolce & Gabbana. I got them at an eyeglass store inside of Macy's years ago. Anytime I wear them, that's like the number one question I get is where my glasses are from. They are prescription. Um, but yeah, they're very old, so it's hard to find the exact style. Um, also, I don't know if you could see it earlier, but that is the mark on my hand. I don't know what I did. I think something's still in there because it's looking more and more irritated. This better heal up because I know tomorrow's leg day <laughs> and I'm going to need my palm. Okay, let's go do some dishes. I'm gonna do dishes, yes, oh my gosh. The kitchen really isn't that dirty, it's just dishes that need to be done. Can you believe it's 3.58 and it's been dark as fuck in here for a while. Okay, so gotta do dishes, probably put the panda in the fridge. Um, I'll leave mine out. And then this, I made more popcorn. This was disgusting. Duper. like a good wash it's been a hot minute but at least the counters are wiped down and everything's put away I just have some mail that I need to go through there and under there um, but all the dishes are done for 
the most part, minus that pot that's just soaking. Um, also, super random, I got this from William Sonoma, and I thought that it was a Snoopy gingerbread house kit, and it turned out to come like pre-made, which is so random. So I need to take it out of this and just put it on the counter. Maybe I'll do that right now. But yeah, how random, right? Why did it come already made? When it arrived, I was so confused, but I mean, it's so cute. Can I take it off of the... It feels like it's like stuck to the cardboard. I hope I don't break this. That would be something. Oh, I just don't get the point. I guess it's supposed to be on here. Yeah, look, and there it's not snowy. I'm so confused what the point of this is. Well, I'll just keep it on the counter, I guess. Maybe I can cover it in like like fake snow or something. So it's like a cute little thing for my counter. But so cute. I'm just uh, confused. I also got this mistletoe from Target uh, when I was getting all my Christmas decor. And I never put it up. So I think I'm really quickly going to put it up here if I can reach. I've got one of these little command hooks that I'm gonna put up there and then hook it onto it. You too, pretzel. <laughs> also, look how cute Kelsey's Christmas card is. So cute. This is one of my favorite YouTube channels for Christmas decor, by the way, and also just like decor and homemaking in general. This is Lauren Nicholson. I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee, just watching some of her videos before I decorate my tree just to get a little bit of inspiration. She goes all out, like all out. and. They just moved, <clears throat> uh, her and her family just moved into a new house. So it's interesting to see just like how she decorates a completely different home and also just a completely different style of home. Her other home was, I think it was a Victorian home or a Tudor style home. It was, it was, it had a lot of character. And so now it's just interesting to see like how she's transforming this new home and making it her own. And it's just so much fun to watch. So check her out if you haven't already. I feel like on screen you can't really see that much because it kind of just like whites it out for what, there we go. I feel like, I don't know. It's hard to tell on camera, but check out her channel, Lauren Nicholson. I love her channel. Um, so I'm going to go, she's been posting like every room and just kind of like walking you through her decorating process. And it's just so fun to watch. So um, I've watched the most recent one, but I missed this one. So I'm going to watch this and then um, get to decorating my tree. Okay guys, let's jump right into it. Um, I didn't end up needing to go to the store to get more cranberries because I just kind of rearranged them. So I laid them on the tree instead of like drooping it like this. I like both. But this way I didn't have to make a billion more. So I just put up a couple ornaments just to get an idea of what they were gonna look like. I'm probably gonna take these down really quick and then yeah, let's actually do that first. These are the ornaments and I'm just gonna start with these probably because these are the biggest ones and these are the ones that are my favorite. So I wanna make sure that these get their time to shine. Hold on, that's a really good place for it, but it's not, I need to get a good hook. Perfect, see how it just fills that empty space there really nicely. So I'm just gonna work on filling up 
these empty spaces with these ones. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a random number. Why do I only have nine? Did I put one on the tree? I feel like I should have an even number. I don't know, whatever. I put on the holiday calendar. I think Cat Graham is one of the prettiest people in the world. So pretty. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on filling the tree with these ornaments and then work through the rest of the ornaments. Um, I'll probably end up doing these very like vintage Santa ones next and then so on and so forth. So let's go. I put on Jingle All The Way instead. Classic. Holly hanging across the door Neighbors singing tales of yore It's so close, hardly can wait Waking up on Christmas Children dreaming without a care Tis the season most everywhere So come home there's no better place Waking up on Christmas Day Tinsel wrapped around the tree Snowflakes dancing in the street Presents tied up with a string for you And me So grab your stocking Above the fire, bells are rocking to the choir. No, nothing else is the same. Waking up on Christmas Day. Snowflakes dancing in the street Presents tied up with a string for you and me So grab your stocking above the fire Bells are rocking to the choir No, nothing else is the same Waking up on Christmas Day Waking up on Christmas Day Okay, the tree is finally done. I didn't do the lights as nicely as I normally do. I just didn't have the patience normally. I weave them very meticulously through each branch, but I still think it looks very beautiful. Um, these lights do have a uh, twinkling mode. They have a couple different twinkling modes actually, but it just seemed like a lot with the twinkle lights there. And then I got twinkle lights on the TV stand over there and right here so I like that um this is just lit like this I wish I could dim this though because to me it is pretty bright but I think I'm just used to putting these lights on that when we have the tree I don't think that we actually need those lights on but yeah I just love the way that everything came together these actually, I, I'm always like, oh, I don't think I need these. But then when I put them on, I feel like it just added that little touch, that little something, because it looks like there's just icicles just like on the tips of the branches. And it's just so pretty. And don't you think that these are just the star of the show? Just so beautiful. 
And these surprisingly didn't pack as much of a punch as I thought, but still pretty, still nostalgic and beautiful. This I might relocate or just need to like prop him up a little bit better. I feel like I can't see him that well. Love the little wiener dog front and center. And then um, I didn't spend as much time on this side because it's the back of the tree, but I did put some because if you come up here, you'll still see it when you go up the stairs. So I wanted it to still be somewhat done. So I'm actually pretty proud of myself. This is the most that I've decorated like fully around a tree out of all the years. And um, I really love the tree here. I think it's beautiful. I think it fills up the space really, really nicely. Pretzel, your dad's home. Go get your dad. You wanna go get your dad? <laughs> He's home. Your papa's home. It's your papa. Yeah, dad's home. Come here. Get my my boots on. Let's go get your papa. Let's go get your papa. You go get your dad? You ready to go get your dad? Where is your dad? Go get your dad. Where is he? There he is. Come here. He's over here. Go get him. There he is. <laughs> oh, it's your dad. <laughs> so excited. How you doing? Ah, good. Okay, well Ruben's home. We're probably just gonna hang out, eat our Panda Express, just watch some movies and just hang out together. Ruben was fishing for a couple days, so yeah, we're just gonna spend some time together and yeah, that's it for, do you hear that? That's my dishwasher. Perfect timing. I'm relocating because that dishwasher was making so much noise. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's vlog. Let's have uh, Miss Pretzel say good night. Miss Ma'am, would you like to say good night? Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Look at the little sleepy girl. Hey, thank you so much for watching, guys. We had just a little lazy day today. I wish you guys could smell her right now. She gets the best little sleepy brew. Isn't that right? Such a good boo. Aw, oh, thank you, Pretzel. Such a good girl. It's actually time for your dinner. Should we feed you first? You want some chicken? Let's go get some chickens. Come on. Let's, oh, I'm falling. <laughs> let's go get some chickens. Yeah. Chickens for my little chicken. Yeah. Let's get you some yummy chickens. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah. So good. So good. Girl. Okay, ready for your chickens? Oh, it's so good. Sit. Such a good girl. It's a good girl. Oh, it's such a good girl. All right, you guys, that is it for today's vlog. Thanks for hanging out with me. I know it was kind of a lazy day, didn't do too much, but um, I love the tree, love how it turned out. And yeah, so beautiful, so beautiful. Tomorrow is a fresh start. Gonna eat healthy, work out, get back into the routine. Subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.